Watch as this man prepares to photograph his thoughts. Got it. This is Ted Sirios, a former bellhop from Chicago who gained enough credibility taking these so-called thoughtographs because he was using Polaroid, which meant that they couldn't be faked like traditional images were faked in darkroom. For three years in the mid-1960s, he was studied at the University of Colorado by Dr. Jewel Eisenbud. Eisenbud worked to use scientific method by controlling the camera and film, never letting Sirios touch them. Often, Sirios would wear clothes provided by researchers. He was even sometimes strip-searched Yes, and cavity searched. Sirios, unsurprisingly, was a megalomaniac and alcoholic. And researchers would continuously serve him alcohol during these sessions. The process was this. Sirios would take a rolled up tube of black paper from one of the Polaroid containers and call it a gizmo. And he would use that allegedly to focus his thoughts. With much fanfare, he would contort his body and face and signal the researchers when to take the photo. Dr. Eisenbud wholeheartedly believed in Sirios' abilities and published a book about him in 1967. Sirios' advocate stated several reasons for believing him. In the conditions of the room, you would expect most of the photos to turn out like these, where part or all of his face are visible. But some of them became blurry, some of them were completely white or completely black, which shouldn't have been the case in these lighting conditions. And in some cases, very recognizable images came forward. There were even some experiments where photos were concealed in envelopes, then wrapped in foil, and Sirios was able to reproduce a part of these photos that he had never seen. The best case against Sirios I read came from Niall Root. He was a biological photographer, a scientist, and later a professor at RIT. Root witnessed a performance put on by Sirios at a home with Dr. Eisenbud, which this became a thing that they did. They went around to homes and they showed this ability and it was to me more of like a sideshow type thing. And it was this big performance that Root described where Sirios was getting more and more intoxicated and no results were coming. And he became belligerent and he'd swear and he'd take off his clothes and do all these ridiculous things which were distracting from the fact that Root believed he was then producing a device that would he would hold in proximity to the camera and allow these photos to be taken. Root, being a photographer and a scientist, replicated a device that he thought would reproduce such results. And he did. These are some of his examples of photography. This is the last known photograph produced by Sirios in 1967. It's curtains, which it might be a little on the nose. And though he would try again throughout his life, he was never able to replicate those results from the 1960s. Okay. okay.